Stop spending money on OnlyFans. Welcome to the channel, human. My name is Terrence. I appreciate you being here. Since when do guys need to spend money to jack off? Since when? You can do that shit for free. Do you understand that the internet has everything that you could possibly ever want in terms of jack off material? All you got to do is type, 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 and then whatever you want pops up for free. Long scenes and everything, all the pictures you want, the internet has everything. Even with these OnlyFans bitches, some guy has already been dumb enough to pay for that shit, and that guy already posted that online. So whatever girl you're attracted to, all you got to do is type in her name in Google, and you'll be able to find all of her pictures and videos for free. You don't have to pay for shit. Somebody was already dumb enough to do it for you. But guys need to stop paying these bitches for shit that should be free. Do you understand what I'm telling you? Beating your dick should not put you in debt. You're like, man, I want to jack off. But I just had I just spent two thousand dollars. Now I'm out of money. Why the fuck did you spend that much on a female who's not sucking your dick in the first place? You will never meet her. She don't care about you. She just cares about making money off of you and other simp ass niggas. All these bitches that have only fans, they don't care about you. They care about your money. And even when you pay for things for them to do and say for you, they're only doing it because you gave them money. They don't care about you. So why should you care to spend your money on these bitches knowing that you're losing a bunch of money and you're going to debt? You're going broke and these bitches are getting rich because there's a bunch of simp ass niggas that don't understand beating your dick should be free. So these girls, they're smart because they understand that guys are fucking stupid. Like, oh yeah, this dude will pay me to flash my fucking titties like the hell I will. The fuck? I'll be able to find that shit for free and beat my dick and save some money. I get to bust a nut, go to sleep happy, and my wallet is still in check. You ain't gonna catch me spending no money on these bitches. Now, when I was in my early 20s, I did a couple of things with cam girls just to test it out. But I wised up to that shit. I'm like, this shit is stupid. Why the fuck am I doing this? And then lo and behold, I can just type in these bitches' names on the internet. And then I got all that shit for free. There's no need to pay for that shit. So if you're going to beat your dick, you do it. But don't fucking spend money on these bitches. Especially ones that are not going to touch you. Like, I could see it to where if you go to like a fuck ranch or something, right? Out in Vegas. You know what I'm saying? An escort. You pay for their services, you know, to be with you. But then they end up sucking your dick anyway. Like, I can see that because at least she's actually there in front of you. And she's licking and sucking your balls and shit. But if you're talking about some bitch over the computer where you pay her a monthly fee or a flat fee so she can shake her ass on camera and you will never be able to touch her, that's a waste of money. That don't make no fucking sense. So stop falling for these traps that these bitches set for you. They already know what time it is. It's time to make money off fucking simps. Like, I like that Star Wars girl, right? She's a YouTuber. I think she looks good as fuck. And I like her content. But you're not going to catch me spending no fucking 30 some odd dollars on no goddamn calendar. When I can jack off to that bitch for free just by watching her videos and shit. I mean, dudes are not thinking because their dick takes over. And when that happens, you get yourself in trouble. You fall into the various traps that females set. You got to think of these females as black widows as spiders and shit. You fall into their web, well, that's your fucking fault. You get whatever you get. They set that trap. They know that guys are going to fall into their web. It don't have to be all of them. It just has to be a few. 
And that's enough for these bitches to get rich. And no one is mad at the girls for doing this. They're smart. They're using their assets. They know they look good. The titties and ass and everything. They know what they need to do and say. To trick a nigga out of his money. The fault lies with the guys for being dumb enough to fall into the web to begin with. Not once, not twice, not ten times, a bunch of times. How the hell you keep falling for the same trap? Whether it be the same fucking female or a bunch of them. It's like, really? Like, you don't know when a female's using you for your money? Of course she gonna say what you wanna hear when you giving a bitch hundreds and thousands of dollars. Are you serious? <laughs> Like, oh, I did a cam to cam with her and she said that she loves me and she said my dick is big and all this other stuff. I'm like, well, of course she's going to say that. You just gave the bitch $600. Why would she say anything else except for what you want to hear? But it's lies, though. It's part of the game. They know how to get in your head. They play to your fantasies. And then your dumb ass spends a bunch of money on bitches that you will never be able to touch. Bitches you will never be able to fuck. If I'm going to spend a bunch of money on a female, she better be sucking my dick as often as I want and bending that ass over on a daily basis. I'm not going to be spending no money on a female that I can never touch, that I can never see in person. That's bullshit. It's a trap. All these girls out here living large and shit got these crazy expensive cars and these amazing houses all because of a bunch of simp motherfuckers. Paying for shit that you don't need to pay for. You can find that shit online, trust me. Now, of course, those girls don't want you to do that. They want you to pay for it. That's what they want. They're going to say, oh, it doesn't matter. Yes, it does. Because if all their fucking clients, if all their customers, I ain't even going to say clients, right? All their fucking customers, if they were to up and leave tomorrow, they would be like, oh my God, they start panicking and shit. Especially if they ain't been saving their money and all this stuff. They're going to panic. So they need the guys to be there to keep making money. If you're not there, they don't make no fucking money. Not like that. Imagine if all the fucking simps were to wake up and go, Damn, why am I paying for this bitch? Why am I paying this bitch for her to flash her titties and oil that shit up? What the fuck? No. And we're not talking about a movie here where you go to pay and see a movie in theaters. No, we're not talking about that. We're talking about dudes that are spending crazy ass amounts of money on these females they will never fuck. It makes no sense. But see, to these simps, though, it makes sense. They're like, oh, man, I want to see what she looks like in that cowgirl outfit. Okay, you don't got to pay for that. You can find that shit for free. Somebody, so another simp just like you already posted that shit online. But be smarter, guys, and stop falling for the traps that these bitches set. The fuck? You ain't gonna see me spending no fucking money to beat my dick like that. That don't make no sense. That shit is free. Give me the internet, and I'm wild and out going ham. Causing earthquakes around the world with each orgasm. Each nut I bust fuck I'm about to pay these bitches for what the hell so be smart and stop paying these bitches that you will never fuck and if you are one of these dudes that's communicating with girls over the internet and it's not an only fans thing but somehow you keep sending this bitch money and she ain't doing nothing to break you off it's fucking stupid it just makes no sense and also, you shouldn't be paying females a bunch of money for them to suck your dick anyway. And we're talking about the individuals who are not sex workers, right? Because the sex worker, you know, that's their job to swallow cum, to be a cum bucket. But we talking about these girls out here that like to finesse men. They're not sex workers. It's not their job. They just understand and know how to detect simps. They have a simp alert. They'll be like, damn, I can get something out of him. I'll lie to him and manipulate him. 
They know the game. They know the game, ladies and gentlemen. So because they know the game, what does that mean? That means they get to trick you. So pay attention to this kind of stuff. And stop falling for these bitches' traps. Period. Terrence out.